Okay, the F shape and its variations. First of all, a basic F chord in the first fret. And remember that it's a four string chord. Okay. Now anytime we add something with our pinky here, we get a different chord. So you have your basic F. Pinky in on the third string, right there. Third fret, third string. Gives us F suspended, and we're suspending the fourth note above F, which is a B flat, but that's irrelevant right now. So that's F suspended. Adding the pinky on the second string in the uh, third fret, always wherever the F is, it's just below this finger right here, your ring finger. Means you're adding a sixth to your F chord. So now it becomes F6. So, third string. Suspended. Second string. F6 chord. Now, adding the pinky on the bottom string. You're adding a second above there, so we're adding a two. So F, F add two. So suspended, regular F, sixth chord, second string, regular F. Add two or add nine chord, bottom string. Now when we move up the scale, F here, because this is an E string, top and bottom, top string, bottom string, those are E strings, that means the very first fret on either is an F, third fret is a G, fifth is an A, seventh is a B. So we go back to F here, upper fret is F sharp, F sharp to G, G to G sharp, up the neck, G sharp to A, A sharp to A to A sharp, excuse me, A sharp to B. Now backwards, B to B flat, which is the same as A sharp, that's B to B flat, A to A flat, which is the same as G sharp, A flat, G to F sharp, or sorry, G flat, which is the same as F sharp. Flat, F sharp. So when you play an F chord here, it's simple F. Now that's an F sharp. Third fret, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat. applies to adding these. So you got F, F suspended, F6, F add 9. F sharp, F sharp suspended, F sharp 6, F sharp add 9. Or add 2. G, G suspended, G add 6, G add 9. G sharp, suspended, 6, add 9. A, suspended, flat B and those are your variations on your F chord